So Hippo Story in uh, 2015 was fortunate enough to go on a on a hunt in uh, we were in Namibia, and so we we're actually up in the northeastern part, little uh, part called the Caprivi Strip. Um, so it's this real. If you look at the map in Namibia, this this little kind of tongue of land sticking out across there, and uh, so we were hunting in. We we're actually hunting in a in a national park, um, and so they have you know part of the way they fund their parks is by issuing you know permits to a small number of permits to um hunters who have that that area you know in their territory and uh so yeah so went hunting there uh, for a whole variety of of different game species and that was really a, a exciting adventure i mean we're we're in a tent camp you know right on the river at night you know you can hear hippos in the river you can hear buffalo walking through the grass going down to water like right outside the the tent um and so it's truly like the definitely the adventure of a lifetime so awesome experience um but one of the animals uh, we were hunting was was hippo um and so yeah killed a killed a big hippo bull and uh did you know it was it a took, bull when you shot it i didn't my my ph did yeah so i mean it's very much you know over there like the first rule is just is always listen to your to your ph your professional hunter and and always do what they say and that's kind of the biggest uh one of the biggest challenges for him was you know so the bull was in this pod of of cows so it was a bull and cows and so you know his job was to figure out okay which one was the bull and they kept going up and down in and out of the water and so every time they'd come back out he'd have to figure out again like exactly which <laughs> one was the bull you know and so it was like it was it was like on the gun off the gun on the gun off the gun, you know getting ready like get ready get ready okay wait like you know get ready so it was kind of like nerve-wracking what caliber um, were you using i used a, a 416 rigby i thought um, you were gonna say 308 uh, again no, yeah, no, definitely not a <laughs> for, this, for this job. So, no, a 416 Rigby with a 400 grain partition. So, it, uh, yeah, it, it definitely did the job. Um, but yeah, so killed a bull, and when they when they recovered, you know, took took two land cruisers to to drag him up on the beach, um, and that was you know all they could do to get him up there. And so, I mean, we're talking about like a couple tons worth of of meat. And so then, uh, where do you aim the neck? So you shoot them in the head uh, when they're in the water like that. And so you aim between the the eye and the ear. So like if they're like like a profile, like you kind of draw an imaginary line from the eye to the ear and you want to like break that line. And that that's a that's a brain shot. OK, um, so cool. kind of depends which way they're, they're facing. But that's kind of typically the, the shot you want to take. And so so you shoot um, you shoot them in the water. What is someone getting in the water for the retrieval? So that's the sketchy part. Um, but so, so yes to no kind of just depends on what, you know, where they're at, what kind of body of water they're, you know, whether they're in a river or a pond or whatnot. Um, where we were at, it was, um, you know, kind of the end of the dry season. So it was this big, big pond um, that normally, you know, water be flowing in and out of, but it was just this kind of static pond there. Um, and so what happens is you shoot them and they sink. Um, so oh. then you just, then you wait. They kind of look like the folk that would float. Yeah. <laughs> well, they do, but not right away. So they do. Um, uh, so they say three. They die. <laughs> no, it's, it happens. It's about an hour. So the, oh. the, you know, they're, uh, they're a ruminant, like a cow, um, you know, and so they eat, they eat Arthritis. lots of grass. And so they've got all this, um, this grass in their stomach, just fermenting. Uh, and so that creates gas and as that gas expands eventually like it inflates their their stomach and then they float like jeffrey so, with brussels sprouts like anyone with brussels sprouts <laughs> you need to let that go at least <laughs> at least i don't fling my poop with a little tail like hippos and you do <laughs> that was one time oh yeah one time one time and you wouldn't yeah. have known if you didn't have the flashlight going <laughs> anyhow sorry friend. mason <laughs> so if you yeah just imagine if if jeffrey you know <laughs> oh, <there> you <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> couldn't release you know his his broccoli then you know he would start to start to swell yeah so they float. so they they get you know fully gas and they and then they float um so then once they float then um they go out in a boat tie a rope around their foot and then tow them with the boat over to the side or uh you know if it's in a river uh sometimes the the unlucky guy that draws the short sticks got to walk out there bro and tie the rope around bro them. um but is he fighting other hippos i got hold on the... <laughs> let's stop let's stop there for a second i got a couple points 
point one is if you like didn't like a guy, you like run out and poke him so that he lets the air out and he oh, sinks God. again. <laughs> ah, take that. Number two, hippos kill more people than any other animal, and you have to go get in the water where there was at least one to tie it off to get dude. That's a short stick. That's a tiny yeah. little stick. That's like because this would be huge and this would be small. Um, but uh, um, the other thing is for that hour, you got to be like, you sure you get him? Please, please, you please, know please, what I mean? Please, <laughs> like, come on. Any second. Any like, second. please float. You sure you got him? Well, don't forget about the Crocs, too. Oh. So oh it's gosh. not just hippos oh. in the yeah, water. Yeah, those shoes There's are this. everywhere. They have them in There's... Africa now, too. Everyone wears them. <laughs> oh. oh. Mm. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so that's kind of the nerve-wracking part. So when, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mason hangs up from that. <laughs> Sorry, Mason, continue. <laughs> Waiting for him to float. Yeah, you're, you're like, second-guessing yourself. You know, you're, like, Whole oh, time. did I? And, and so what happens is, like, usually, you know, you you give it, like, an hour. And then so, um, yeah, that happened with mine was we we weren't too far from where our camp was. So we shot him. And we're, like, okay, we got to give him time to float. So you go back to go back to, to camp, have lunch come back and we're looking at the pond and it's just like flat and still there's nothing i'm like oh, uh oh no. you know so then you start doubting yourself you know second guessing yourself and i was like no the shot felt good um and actually a buddy filmed it um just you know not for tv or anything we were just filming it for fun for ourselves and so we watched the tape we're like no nah, you know it looks good and then so we're waiting waiting and then sure enough um just glass in this pond and then it looks like there's like a football over there like floating in the water and they're like okay that's him and then slowly just nice. rises up you know like let's say his head was just above the water but you accidentally hit the water that'd slow the bullet down a lot right well it can skip too like it can either yeah it either slow it down not, not so much worry about slowing down but but skipping off the water um, and like so going right it. over him then he's like did you hear that <laughs> wow. you know yeah that yeah is. So yeah, it's a small target you know and you want you want to make sure you do it right um, but kind of the one of the really interesting things was okay we get him up on the 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 beach and so then it's like okay we went and um we went to a local village and kind of like put the word out but like hey we need help cutting up this hippo and like hey there's there's hippo meat and the guys came running like it was not i remember we were just pulling into this village in the truck and just guys are running from every direction in the village wanting to come help and to come get meat you know and they're running they've got like pillowcases like whatever you know whatever kind of bag Dude. they can find to put the meat in and you're just um, like yelling like get your hippo here we got your hippo <laughs> if you're hungry for a hunk of fat and juicy meat eat my body bumble here because the end is green. they they already knew um that we were coming and and they were waiting and so then, and then they were like um you know getting in like arguments over who got to go because then there was like too many guys to fit in the back of the truck you know and they're trying to like hang on the side and come everybody's wanting to come with you know and they're like pushing each other off <laughs> finally we're like okay we're, we're good you know we got enough we got enough guys the reason why they're fighting for us because they want to make sure they get theirs for their family right yeah they want some meat yeah, yeah they're 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 hungry and and you know they don't get a lot of um protein in their diet and so we kind of take uh, that for granted you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Try eating grits every day Jeez. for three meals a day. No, it's true. Man, when they were done, there, there was nothing left. Like the skin and stuff, too? The skin, the intestines, everything. Like <laughs> they, what, they what, did, what did you get to keep? So I kept um, the memories. So I kept the, yeah. So memories, photos. I have the, I have the skull. Um, you can import the, the skulls provided you do kind of some paperwork ahead of time. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, a big, a big, uh, piece of leather, big piece of the hide I had like turned into, to leather. I've actually got a pair of, of, uh, hippo boots. Ooh, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's when you break yeah. those suckers out, special occasions, SCI show. Yeah. yeah. Class reunion, so. something else, you know, <laughs> yep. sweet. What, so, I wonder why are they just gray? You can get it dyed, whatever color. It's kind of like a dark. Uh, red because kind of when they tan it you know it kind of gets like bleached out but it's got all this really cool uh, character in it there's all these like cracks and scars and I mean they're like covered in scars because they fight like crazy the bulls especially like they're super territorial and so yeah they've got like scars all over them from fighting each other with their tusks uh, mainly because our audience over the last I don't know if you've been watching our social media but we've been getting fried daily we are just I, our engagement has gone through the roof. Like our social media engagement has probably quadrupled in the last two months from from any time before. 
uh, which is great. But we're also hated by a lot of people now, uh, like because we did an, uh, a debate between me and a prominent vegan, and uh, I kind of destroyed him, <laughs> and uh, that it just created like this this whole thing. Uh, but so my question is to you, is one of the questions that they would ask is, so why are they hu- why are we hunting hippos? What was the point of hunting hippos? Why did they hunt hippos? What is the conservation behind it? Uh, it just kind of comes down to, you know, it all depends on the area. You know, you're not just getting a, a hippo permit for anywhere, you know, and so it's all carefully managed by, you know, the wildlife department of that that country and then that park. Um, and then, you know, that's how they generate funding for their parks department is to have, you know, limited hunting for particular species for, you know, those, you know, surplus uh, you know, males in the population um, that they're able to, you know, sell tags for. And then that's how they're, you know, there's a whole economy based on that, that supports the anti-poaching efforts. I mean, that's what pays for that park to be there. Basically, that's what's going to pay for the guys to be out there patrolling, um, watching for poachers. You know, that's what pays for just all the park staff, just all of that, you know, is funded by by hunting and the truth be told too, those people were clearly very eager to eat hippo right like you made their day obviously um so you donated that meat to feed the local families that needed it if we didn't do those limited hunts then what happened to africa in the first place was they went in and wiped out everything they ate everything and imagine that many hungry people fist fighting to get into the truck with you um and you said you hadn't showered in three days they were still fist fighting to get in that truck and go pick up the hit, you know, just to get some of the meat. So imagine if there was no regular regulations, there was no nothing, they'd wipe them out inside of a year, which is what happened before. So to build back populations of all species, this is the management plan that comes in as hunters go in, pay probably an obscene amount of money uh, to buy the tag. The money goes to help the park create it, create the stability of it, protect the hippos in general. And then you're donating the meat so that people are still getting the food from the resource as it rebuilds. I mean, that's that's what's so special about it. Did you get to eat any of the hippo? We did not eat any of the hippo <laughs> he goes, ourselves. He goes, yeah, and look what happened for it. He's missing fingers because he's they're, they're, they're mad at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, Mason. <laughs> that was about the only thing we didn't eat. I mean, it, it all got eaten, just not by us. We didn't eat any of the, the hippo. Um, but typically, you know, on a hunt, you do eat a lot of, of the game from, from whatever you take. I, okay. I was just curious. Yeah, I, 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 I be, yeah, curious. They're eating the skin and the fat and the organs. Like, hey, you want a nine-year-old hippo or, uh, liver? It's like, yeah. <laughs> liver. Yeah. <laughs> Probably so difficult just to get nutrients. Like, they right. eat anything. It's like how people used to eat beaver tail for it. For the nutrients. Right. Which is gross. And the fat. You tried it. Yeah, I didn't like beaver tail at nope, all. No bueno. I still think about it and just want to throw up. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like eating fat, like pig fat, with less, with no flavor. But with, with fibers in it, like you would think of, like meat. So but, it's but fibrous, but Fibrous fatty. jello. It reminded me of eating paddlefish straight up without cooking it. Oh, But gross. saying it was cooked. That's what it is. Yeah. If anyone's ever had paddlefish, that's what it was. It was, and Ray cooked it over a fire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. I'm just, 